on ladies and gents welcome back to t3g my name is dalibor this is another action cam review today we're going to be looking at the yi 4k and can we vlog with it coming up footage we're gonna hit the gym and see what we can do in a noisy environment what kind of footage we can get I mean obviously I think the footage is gonna be good 4k 30 frames a second <sighs> touch screens a little weird though it locks but I don't know how there's a way to unlock it but then when you go to the, the menu to switch between things it's not touch screen anymore you got to use the button that's kind of a weird feature let's do this All right, so we've got the kind of what montage-y section of this done. Um, what else do vlogs do? Time lapses. And actually, this thing has a time lapse mode, so let's do that. But we'll do it tomorrow. It's oh, well, when I wake up, it's it's five in the morning. There's nothing to time lapse at this hour. And here we are, actually a few days later in the city of Chicago. We're gonna get us a quick time lapse of this incoming train. And that's that. So just a quick shot of that train. Nothing too fancy. That was about a 10 seconds of video. Shot down to about, what, one, two seconds of footage. Uh, all in camera. I didn't do any of that in post. So nice to have that option and not have to do anything in post and just cut things together and that look nice. Now you are getting some of the audio right now. We're getting a little bit of wind. So this is the natural audio of the camera. Uh, this is of course an action camera. You're gonna be taking it into action. So let's go ahead and go back a few months to some driving footage first. Nice little app, lets you control everything pretty pretty much live, real time. Yeah, a, little, a little delay. A little delay, but nothing crazy. It's got a button to switch between camera and uh, recording. 
you can get into the gallery so you can save directly to your phone which is nice you can switch to time lapse yeah I dig it so this is true vlog style how this is driving this is how you would vlog if you were using this as a vlogging camera beyond the driving footage we definitely want to see how this thing performs under a little more stress let's go ahead and go back a few weeks to when we were filming for us indoor karting series check out some go-karting All right, so that's gonna be it for this review. Overall, it's a great camera. I mean, there's no question about it. Can it do the action stuff? We got the we got the videos from the, the carts. Yeah, you're going all over the place, you're hitting the, the railing, no problems, no problems whatsoever. Can it be underwater in the case? Yes, it can. And uh, can you vlog with it? 100%. Okay, maybe like 90%, like 92-ish percent. The audio as I'm editing this, it's not great. It's not great even at my normal speaking voice. Like right now I'm a little low because my wife is sleeping, but at my normal speaking voice, there's a lot of clipping even at a distance. It doesn't do great. In the gym, it did okay because there was a good amount of distance. Yeah, I'd say four feet away, roughly four to five feet away. And that did okay, but anytime when it's within an arm's reach, uh, it clips, it clips a lot. The mic, uh, according to their website, the mic is an omnidirectional microphone. It captures everything and then it does some smart processing. However, it didn't seem to do that for us in this specific situation. Back to the review. I mean, this, this is easy. This is, I'm not stretching out my arm all the way. I mean, this is all the way out and you see everything. You don't have to be that far. It doesn't have to be, it's not this obtrusive, huge thing. Yeah, you can 100% vlog with this camera. End of the day, this is a great buy. For the 100 bucks that it's on Amazon, no questions. If you can catch it on sale, do it twice. That's gonna be it for this one. Make sure you guys come back next week for a different kind of review and we'll see you in the next one.